What's up, y'all? This Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Back in the gym. Back in the gym. Let me turn this joint on so I can roll this window down. Uh, damn it. Shoot. Back in the gym because I haven't been to the gym since uh, May. I haven't been to the gym since May and stuff. Combination of reasons. I mean, one, I was under the weather back in May. I was under the weather back in May. I think I told y'all. You know, not the C word, but summertime thing. There you go. Now, nah, back seat, she got a kid. Wait, hold on for a second. Yeah, ain't been here since May. Combination. End of May. Wasn't feeling like all that and stuff. So it's kind of relaxing and everything. Somebody remote started it. They car. I was like, I ain't seen nobody in the car there. <laughs> anyway, uh, that and then, you know, beginning like packing and, you know, packing and getting stuff out, putting stuff in goodwill, moving. And then even with moving, I ain't move all in one day. I mean, I had a moving company move all my big stuff. I ain't feel like moving around, lifting up a bunch of steps. But, uh, Still had a bunch of little stuff. So, packing. I had to put together furniture. In fact, those who follow me on IG, y'all saw I did a couple videos. Y'all saw how much I was sweating, like I was doing a full workout. So, it was... And then, during the middle of June, even after I moved in halfway, still unpacking and stuff. You know, still got put together furniture. Couldn't really go out as much. I had uh, several deliveries of furniture. Should. Then my sons, they were with me full time. So, because their mother was out of town. So they were with me full time. I had to do stuff with them. We, we, we ran around, did some stuff. You know, we close as a family. I had no problems with it. I had no problems with hanging with my sons and stuff, show them how to do, hey, so, yeah, I had to deal with that, then vacation, I said, I finally get back to go to the gym, finally get back in there, could have went back last week, really, or even before, I could have snuck something in, but one thing with me, I don't like to, I don't like to do spot stuff, I like to start off the week with, uh, you know, chest, then legs, and then, um, you know, back and then arms, shoulders, all of that. Got a certain rhythm. I don't like. I don't like throwing it off. I don't like throwing it off at all. That's just me. So I said, okay, I'll start on the 18th. And that was. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what. I ain't even. I mean, even then, you know, did some cardio and you know, I did um, just my regular sets. Not as heavy though. Not as heavy. That's one thing. If you start back working, if you didn't work out for a while. Don't go back. Like, if you were benching 300 and you out of the gym for a few weeks, don't go back in benching 300. You know? Maybe 250 or something. Go always start under to get your muscles used to it again. And I'm going to tell you what, though. You know what's interesting? Somebody would say, because, you know, a lot of people think you got to be in the gym all the time to drop weight, but I actually dropped seven pounds during this period. It was just through the move period. It was just through the moving and stuff. Because, like I said, y'all check my IG. I can see a couple times I uh, uploaded some videos. I was sweating like crazy after putting together some or moving some around. <laughs> yeah. And really, just getting... Plus, I was still getting some exercise, though. Because you're moving, picking up stuff. And then uh, going up and down the steps. I got two flights of steps in my place. So... I remember one time I heard the phone ringing. I'm all the way at the at the top floor. I had to run all the way down to the bottom floor. <laughs> and then, shoot, it ain't like it was where you're in a one-floor apartment or something. 
is like you wanted some, you know, you gotta go to the bathroom, you gotta go just a few feet. <laughs> yeah, and want something from the kitchen real quick, just a few feet. Well, a few yards. Rather, go to the bedroom, like, I mean, shoot, phone ringing, your phone could be completely in another room. Nah. If I'm on the bottom floor and Rom gotta go, I gotta go at least to the uh, second floor. If I really gotta go, number two, gotta go to the third floor. I keep my first floor uh, clean as possible. But, uh, yeah, so you know what? It was, you know, just doing a lot. So I said, okay, I can get back in there. And I'm gonna tell you what, I liked because in the time since I've been there, well, two things. One, you figure out who really gives a shit about you. If you're away from any situation long enough, you look in people's eyes, and see how see how they respond to you. Now, if they looking at you like, damn, where you been? I ain't seen you around. Okay, they cool. Other ones, they see, they be like, used to be, hey, how you doing? Like that, and keep going. It's like, damn, they ain't as cool as I thought they were. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what, it was some fun though. It, it was some fun, just uh, cause um, the sets I did today, cause I ain't go, cause usually I do like eight sets. I did six. I did the five because remember a few months ago I said I was gonna do a, I was gonna do a superset, seventy five straight reps, five routines. So I did that. I ain't do like you know I took the pauses, but like when I do that seventy five straight, I probably because I got build back up. I got build back up to what I was doing. So give me a few weeks and then I'm gonna do it from my garage. I'm gonna do it from my garage. So that should be interesting. Let me call it 75, 75 strong challenge or something like that. I'll call it something. But yeah, it did. Because usually even when I do routines, I usually do four sets each time. So even though it's lighter weight, still some sweat. Still doing some stuff. And that, that's the key thing. That's the key thing that you, you know, you want to get into, you want to do. Just making sure you're doing like the uh, something and you want to do lighter reps because you got to get your body used to it again you got to train your body for it i mean you don't have to go totally light but you know just doing all that rhythm get your muscles because your muscles are like well damn man i thought we were slick we weren't doing thing we got to do that get back into it because i've seen some people man i've seen just working in gyms you see some people they ain't lifting like a couple months and they getting back trying to do that 300 again and then they have some real problems. I've seen some people get injured behind that. I've seen some people get injured behind it. So you gotta be careful. Just always start off slow. Always start off slow and just build back up. You know? So I'll probably build back up at about five pounds a week until I get back to what I was doing. And that's that's the key thing. That's the key thing. But check it out, though. Check it out. There was something else. They got a new piece of equipment in there, which I'm going to love. And I probably, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it every single, I'm going to use it every time I'm there. I'm going to use it. It's a sled, but not like, uh, it's a sled with wheels. And like kind of like that same type of sled that they're having some uh, gyms or something. You just got wheels or on a football field. And that works your whole body. Because if you, especially if you're doing pushing, so you're pushing the sled, so you're okay, you're getting that push in, but it's a whole body push. It's a whole body push. So you're working your back, your lats, you're working those calves and everything. You're working everything. And I'm going to finish up with it. And that's something I learned uh, with football in high school, or at least at my school. At least at my school, like, there were practices and stuff. It was tradition, freshman, JV, and varsity to do, like, work hard at the end of practice. <laughs> like, do wind sprints and stuff. So, I'm going I'm to use that uh, push sled, like, every time I'm there, like, to finish up my workout, no matter what I do. No matter what I do. Because that work your whole body. Y'all see how I'm sweating? Well, that is hot in this car. Well, it ain't even that hot in this car. It was just pushing that. Because I remember, like, at first, I'd be, like, do all this stuff. I'd be look dry. At best, be glistening. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Oh, shoot. 
anyway, had to deal with that. Anyway, y'all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, getting back in. And I'm going to tell you what, that, that's going to happen. You know, you just live in life. Like, say you work, you have a business, you're always at the gym, but you don't get a chance to get in there. And it don't have to be like a few weeks. It could be a couple months. It could be a week. Whatever the case. But in fact, with the one thing with the gym, ain't bad to take a week off like every few months anyway. Just take rest, rest your muscles. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But you got to take more than that for extenuating circumstances. Okay. But start off slow. Start off, just start off slow. Yeah. Start off slow and stuff. Oh, let me let me hit on a tangent real quick. Totally unrelated. You know something I'm peeping lately? I'm peeping. I'm getting a lot more trolls. It's almost like only thing I can think is different. I'm talking the same thing I've been talking. Only thing I think is different. I think some people got some some personal issue with me just getting a bigger spot. Seriously, I think some I think some people seriously got because. I peeped that, not even so much with me, but, you know, when somebody got a problem with uh, any content creators, they always try to come at how much money they make and how they living and all that shit. And it, uh, you know, I think it bothers some people. Hey, and even a couple people hit me up privately. I'm like, I'm laughing, doing some gaslighting shit. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Can't y'all see Ron uh, has a high opinion of himself? You can't fuck with me. And I know they never get in my face and look me in the eye and say shit, so it's like, come on. But I would say this in general. Instead of worrying about or concerned about somebody else, just, just in general in life, man. That's why I've never been jealous of anybody. Never. Because I figure if they got something, I applaud them. And if I want it, I figure out how to get it. And indeed, I'll go talk to him and say, well, how'd you get this? Oh, okay, let me do that. I don't know, people that way. And in fact, I'm gonna tell you what, let me get back to the gym. That's one of the reasons, that's yet another reason I talk about body game. It ain't even so much aesthetics or something. Just feel good about yourself. Seriously, that's, that's the biggest thing. If you feel good about yourself, shoot. It'll reflect in how you walk, how you talk, how you carry yourself, how you look somebody in the eye, how you move through the world. If you feel, if you love yourself, your first relationship is with yourself. Seriously. And I think a lot of people don't feel good about it because that's when, you know, because let me use the detractors again. They don't realize how good I can read something. Even if you just make a comment, I can tell a lot. I've had training in doing that. I've had training professional training and reading stuff even your comments i can tell a lot and you know it's just people don't feel good about themselves so they jump on somebody else but if you feel good about yourself you chill you are chilled and that's the one that's one thing with body game if as long as you feel good about yourself because once you push some weight around or you know if you have a certain goal to even look a certain way you feel good once you accomplish it. And you feel good about yourself because you did the work. Because see, one thing with men, men got to do the work. Men got to do the work. And don't come on here talking about, uh, well, we got to do work too. No, fuck them. And I mean, fuck as far as forget them. You as a man, you got to be you got to be strong within yourself. You with your, your, your main relationship is with yourself. You gotta be feel good, cause even if you a player, even if you getting all these women, these women ain't around you 24-7. So when you ain't like going in and out of a woman, when you're not going in and out of a woman, when none around or when for whatever reason, then what? You gotta feel comfortable with yourself. You gotta be able to look yourself in the mirror and feel good. I want y'all to think about that. You gotta feel good, you know? And not compare, and I'm going to tell you what, don't compare yourself to someone else, though, for real. If you feel good, don't say, well, I don't look like this guy. You don't need to. That guy don't look like you. That guy, you, that, like, you get a lot of dudes, they try and compare themselves, well, I don't look like him. Yeah, but you know what, you might be smarter than him. 
And in fact, there's going to be probably some women who don't like how he looking and like how you look. You know, you don't know what's going on with him. Shit. You could be mentally, that person could be mentally ill. That person could be broke. That person could have a lot of issues. You don't know. Shoot, worry about yourself. Your only competition in life is yourself. Well, your lower self. I'll put it like that. I'm going to get more into that uh, in a video coming next week. I got recording when I get home. But seriously, don't worry about that next person. Seriously, worry about yourself. Worry about being better than you were the day before. You know? And that's what it's all about. You worry about living the life you want to live. Because I say it like this. Are you living where you want to live? Are you eating what you want to eat? If Are you in the job that you want to be in or career or business? Are you making money the way you want to make money? If you lack in, in any area, you don't like something, instead of worrying about someone else, worry about yourself and take care of that. And then you'll find once you do that, you ain't worried what other people do as long as they don't come in your space. And even then, you'll deal with them the same way you deal with the fly. Even then, you're not worried about it. You know? Because even with the gym, all right, I ain't go for, I ain't go for a few weeks. I wasn't losing sleep over. I said the gym still there. And shit. Like I said, it dropped seven pounds during the time, so apparently I'm still getting a workout. So shit, just a different type of workout. You know? Because I felt good putting shit together when I do. I felt good putting shit together. I like doing that. That's what it means to be a man, like building something. Seriously. What it means to be a man, fixing some shit on your own. Hell, even doing, I ain't gonna get into it. It's one thing that uh, they they had to admonish me a little bit, like fixing something that uh, maintenance should have been fixing. <laughs> so, you know. So I mean, that's how uh, that's how you gotta be, though. That's how you gotta be. You know, you gotta feel good, be strong within yourself. So anyway. And back to the gym. It was funny. Uh, one of my buddies at the gym, she always jump on me on leg day. She said, shit, you ain't sweating enough. You got to do more reps. Saw the day. We chopped it up. And it was like, and she was like, I was like, all right, you get to, you get to jump on my case again tomorrow. Leg day tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to tell you what, though. Overall, man. Because I feel good, man. I feel good, man. I don't have any complaints on any area of life. No complaints. Like, I was actually trying to think, where do I have a complaint at? Nah, I don't have one there. don't have one there. don't have any complaints on any level. And that's how you want to be, man. You want to be sovereign in your life. You want to feel good. And if something pops up, you got the ability to solve it. Something pops up. Now, there's always there's always room for improvement. So to get from a good place to get to a better place, to a great place. But even then, I'm still good. Not satisfied because as I'm going to tell you what, no matter what, you always want to say, okay, how can I get this a bit better? Always. I don't care what it is. If you lift 300 pounds, okay. 320. <laughs> it's like, just had that attitude going through life. <sighs> just had that attitude going through life. Uh, I'm just lucked out that car. Anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get some food. See if I see one of my new buddies in here. Oh, yeah, new buddy. Shit. I told y'all. I said that before in a video about meeting people. Going to this new store is only a matter of time before I met him. Met the first one, so yeah, a couple other ones flirting, and they ain't trying, just being cool. Like I said before in a video about meeting people, man, don't make it hard. Just be chill, seriously. Just be chill. So anyway, though.
That's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.